Hey everyone and welcome back to RG Security Team. What if the most convincing security email you've ever seen was a lie? What if by doing exactly what it said to protect your account, you were actually handing your login credentials to a hacker? Today, we're pulling back the curtain on a sophisticated phishing campaign. You'll see how it's built from the ground up, and I'll give you the top 5 tips to make sure you never become a victim. Before we begin, a critical disclaimer. The techniques demonstrated in this video are for educational and ethical security purposes only. Let's begin. First, we need to install Postfix. Postfix is a mail transfer agent, basically. Software that routes and delivers email on a Linux system. It's used to send, receive, and forward emails securely and efficiently. If you are installing it for the first time, you will need to configure it. Select Internet Site from here, then enter your preferred system mail server name here. Once the installation is complete, start the Postfix service and launch the GoFish tools. If this is the first time you are using GoFish on your system, log in with its default username admin and password GoFish and change the password to whatever you want. The first step for the attacker is to create a credible trap. The first element is the landing page, a fake website where the victim will enter their details. Here you can either import a site directly or provide HTML code that you have created. For example, I have created a page that I am providing its code here. Clicking on the source button here will give you a preview of your created page. Now for the important settings. I will check submitted data capture and password capture. Finally, I will set the redirect URL to the real Instagram website. This means that after the victim submits their password, they will be sent to the real site, making them think they have encountered a minor login error. For the trap set, we need bait. Let's craft the phishing email. We'll spoof the sender to appear as security at insta.com. The subject line needs to trigger that urgency we talked about. Action required. Unusual login activity detected. For the body, we use a pre-written HTML template that looks professional, includes the Instagram logo, and has a big red button that says, secure your account now. The link in that button points directly to our fake landing page. The campaign needs an engine to send emails. That is the sending profile. We will create a new one and name it Instagram Security. This is where we configure our outgoing mail server. Since we set up a local Postfix server at the beginning, we will use GoFish as our host on our local machine's IP and port 25. To maintain the illusion, the sender address needs to match the spoofed sender in our email template. Before saving, let's send a quick test email to a temporary inbox to make sure everything is working properly. Perfect. The email looks legitimate and is delivered. Our sending profile is ready. Now we need targeting. Every phishing campaign requires a list of victims. 
In GoFish, we manage this through users and groups. Let's create a new group called Instagram Protection. In a real-world attack, attackers buy or scrape lists of email addresses. For our demo, we'll add targets manually. I'll add two test recipients using temporary email addresses. You can see that we've added their first name, last name, and email. We can also add details like position, such as premium account holder, which allows attackers to further personalize the emails for spear phishing. Adding multiple targets here allows the attacker to launch a coordinated campaign against thousands of people at once. Now we are starting the campaign. A little setup is needed here. Give the campaign name and select the template landing page, sending profile and group you created from the drop-down menu, and give the IP of your local system. And start the campaign. And just like that, we're on the real site. As a victim, we'd be confused, but probably move on with our day. And there it is, the victim's username and password captured in plain text. The attack is a complete success. The hacker now has everything they need to log into the real account. Scary, right? The good news is that you can easily defend against this. Here is your five-step defense plan. One, verify, don't trust the sender. Hover your mouse over the sender's display name. The actual email address is often a dead giveaway. Two, hover before you click. Always hover your mouse over any link in an email. Your browser will show the true destination URL at the bottom of the window. If it looks suspicious or doesn't match the company's real website, don't click. 3. Go direct. If an email worries you, never use the links provided. Open a new browser tab and type the company's website address manually, or use your saved bookmark. 4. Enable multi-factor authentication. This is the most critical step. Even if a hacker gets your password, they can't get in without that second factor. Like a code from your phone, it renders a stolen password almost useless. 5. Use a password manager. A good password manager won't autofill your login credentials on a fake website. If it doesn't offer to fill your password, that's a huge red flag that you're not on the right site. If you found this tutorial helpful, please smash that like button and subscribe for more actionable cybersecurity content.